Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, so what do we got going on here today? If you saw my last video, you know, but just in case you don't, we're going, the razor we're going with today is the Swedish made Matador or Matador Precision Razor. Um, really cool I noticed about this, a lot of, um, like the Gillette, uh, vintage Gillettes. You have part of the blade, the blade tabs on the side hanging out. But with this, check it out, guys. There's no blade tab hanging over because the base plate is a little wider than the top cap, which goes most of the way to the end of the blade tabs. But this here um, base plate does go all the way. And I mean, it's like just right dead nuts even with the um, blade tabs, the edges of the blade tab. So that's kind of cool. Find a vintage razor razor that does that. And the brush is my brand new, which I believe is about a 26 millimeter. Oh, the blade in that in that um, precision razor is a Gillette Silver Blue on its first use. The Grizzly Bay. Um, Grizzly Bay brush with a, a um, Fanchurian Badger Knot. Oh, and in that last video, if you saw it, I made a mistake, got looking again, took a second look at that, uh, that other brush. It does not have a, a, ball, a fan, fan knot, just a regular ball. But the uh, Fanchurian definitely does. I mean, the Grizzly Bay definitely does have a fan knot. And the soap is AA Shaving. Uh, Quisco. Oops, pardon me. Uh, I really, I really dig this scent. Really good scent. And of course, we'll be topping it off with the aftershave. So, with no further ado, let's get loading. I'm just going to load from the tub today. Because I've used this soap a couple of times and um, when I bowl lather with it, um, great lather, but just not as, quite as thick as I would like. The reverse. So, how are all of you doing? This video will be the fifth video I've recorded this year, which beats the number of videos I did last year by one. So let's go ahead and rinse this off. We'll set it over to dry. Or rinse the tub off, I should say. You can find AA soaps over on, um, what is that, the Razor Club? I'll go ahead and see if there's maybe, um, if they have the Quisco. And if they do, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link in the description. I'll at least go ahead and put a link to the Razor Club down in the description. And I'll also go ahead and put a link to Grizzly Bay Shaving our Grizzly Bay, where you can get a Grizzly Bay brush. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. So, here we go. Get the face. Gonna use some cold water. Dry my hands. Wipe some of this soap off of the handle. I'm really excited to try out this Grizzly Bay brush. Grizzly Bay brush. Oh, soft. Good backbone. Oh, 
kill a bit more. Decent play. I'm oh, gonna have to go back to the tub. Guys, if you get a brush and you're using it, you think, man, I need more soap. Don't be afraid to go back to the tub. You're just shaving. You don't have to go ahead and have a brush loaded up. You know, perfectly every time. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm digging this brush. I really am. Feels great on the face. Eric over at Better Ever Shaves. Today I saw a video of his where he used a um pearl razor. I can't remember the name of it, um, other than it's Antique Brass. I can't remember the number it was. But, you know, Pearl Head. Um, I can't remember if it was closed or open comb. But um, the handle was a brass handle. Sounded like a pretty cool razor. He said it was a bit aggressive, though. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is a nice, nice freaking brush. I like it. Oh yeah, that's more than enough sides. Runs my hand. All right. So, anybody getting new goodies lately? Um, I know, I know, Eric. He did. He got, you know, well, Pearl ended up sending him the razor, but still, it's a new goodie to him. All right, where's that precision? Oh, there it is. Get some heat in this blade. There we go. Cut a bit of a short handle, kind of like a bulldog handle almost. Oh, that's smooth. Yeah, that is, oh, that's nice. Wow. Look at that, guys. Whoa, it's, <laughs> whoa. Okay. Razor feels really good. I guess they have a Precision Deluxe, which is a uh, two-piece. There's also another Swedish maker called Swing that was around. They were major competitor. Flip the blade. Or flip the razor. I know, I know. Should be using both hands. Yeah, this is, a, this is an efficient little raider. Not getting a lot of blade feel. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. 
weather's been a bit chilly here. Down in uh, 40s, 50s. Oh, not bleeding. All right, let's see how it feels after the first pass. Just a little bit right there. Yeah, if um, you come across one of these guys and you see it, if you can afford it, or if you can get it, get it. It's a nice little shaver so far. Wipe the face. Yeah, I, I nicked myself right there. That was my fault, not the razors. I came in to get right under the stash here and went ahead and came in and caught my lip on the blade. So that was totally my fault. Totally, totally my fault. Let me get a drink of water here. Here we go. My son, Michael, ended up, his mom got on YouTube on his tablet and brought up my uh, video him and I did. Because he said, I want to see it, I want to see it, and I forgot, forgot. And I was like, oh man, Michael, later when you have a chance, um, let me and your mom know and she can go ahead and go on your tablet and I'm gonna need to reload this so I'm not sure how often EJ went ahead and used this because still being a little bit of a lather hog he said in his post he just doesn't reach full much if I remember correctly and if you didn't it looks like you don't because these these weren't even bloomed out guys this one in the that darn raw brush so I think he may have went ahead and just you know ended up getting having so many brushes which a lot of us are guilty of and just not I'm a bit guilty of that myself. Um, not reaching for it as much as he would, you know, want it. So he thought, hey, I'll go ahead and I'll move him on the BST. Yeah. Um, cross the Grove. Soap is performing wonderfully. I think I got a little nick when I was zipping over my face. Need to slow down there, dude. Yeah, he's Gillette Silver Blues are definitely one of my favorite blades. They're sharp, they're smooth. They're a comfortable, rate, a comfortable blade to use. The boss cod, which I was using, good blade too.
There we go. My chin is kind of one of those chins that stick out. I mean, boop, sticks out pretty decently. Real quick, we're gonna grab the AA soap. And we're gonna load it up for the third pass. Rinse my tub. Wipe my face. There we go. Dry my hands. But, yeah, Michael, oh, just doing a paint over, comes up, he's all, Dad, I watched our video. <laughs> I'm like, you did? They're like, yeah. How'd you like it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, all right, buddy. So, expect to see him in upcoming videos in the future. He really enjoyed that. I enjoyed it, too. It, it was, I hadn't had... I gotta say, I had not had that much fun doing a video in, a, in quite a bit. Um, you know, just having the little guy here with me, it was cool. It was really cool. And his commentary, like when he heard the razor cutting on, he's like, that's so satisfying. <laughs> and so, it's a joy. It was a joy. It was an absolute joy and pleasure to have my son in here with me got a lot of nice comments from you guys on that video so thank you so much everybody for commenting such nice things about my boy i really do appreciate that And he's told me before, when I when I get big enough to have my own YouTube channel. There we go. All right, the against the grain. Up at an angle because of the way the hair comes in. Great, great freaking razor, man. Uh, it's not a, I, mean, I was going up on my neck and I heard no feedback. Listen. No feedback. Wow. Wow, man. I am absolutely, I'm very surprised. I really am. I saw on a, oh, where was that? A website, I think it's called Shave Universe, something like that. They was talking about the Matador and the Swing Razors, and one guy was all, I get my best shaves from my matador and swing razors
They also made a diplomat. I think it was the uh, Razor um, Mandor Diplomat or Mandor. Ambassador. All right, you know what? That's good enough for me. Gonna go ahead, rinse off. I'll be back for the alum. All right, guys, let's see. Forgot to do this before I rinsed off. Damn, that, a little bit right there, that is freaking, there, that is, wow, I'm, I'm impressed guys, I am, this Matador Precision, wow. Let's see how much irritation I got. Oh, not really too bad. A little bit on my neck. My neck's a little sensitive sometimes. Well, most of the times. Who am I lying to? Oh, right there where I got my lip. Mmm. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Um, a little bit, a little bit around the chin. But Wow, no more than usual. Less than a lot of times. I mean, people say, oh, you know, if you, you're gonna get, uh, you know, irritation will be less. That's true. But when they say, ah, oh, you know, since I switched over to safety razors, I get zero irritation. We're happy for you if you say that because um, speaking for those of us who have been doing this for years um, and still get irritation, <laughs> we're very happy for you. Um, I've been doing this, this is my ninth year wet shaving. Um, I got good technique. Um, I still get irritation, uh, so I'll probably always get irritation, but I will say that my irritation is a hell of a lot less than it was when I was using cartridge and disposables. When I was using cartridge and disposables, I always got irritation worse than I get now, um, sometimes a hell of a lot worse, and... I was at least having two or three ingrown hairs pop up per month. And I don't get that with wet shaving. Very rarely, I think in nine years I've had one, maybe three max ingrown hairs. And that's it. So, anyways. Um, so, slow clap for you. <laughs> don't, for those of you who don't get irritation. No, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um... I'd love to get no irritation, but I do get a lot less. Anyways, I'll go ahead and rinse this off, cut away, do the head shave, then I'll be back for the post. You know what, guys? Absolutely spectacular shave. Absolutely spectacular. Cheeks, baby butt smooth chin, close enough. I never get my chin completely BBS. Because I got a big ass chin. Um, my neck, problem spots, good. So I absolutely wonderful. I'm very, very happy with that shape. Anyways, I went ahead, shaved my dome, went ahead, cleaned off my gear because. Just because I can't see the gear after I use it, 
Um, doesn't mean you guys can't. So I figured I'd go ahead and clean it up. That way you guys look at nice clean gear. The Razor comes to us from Sweden. Um, I got it thanks to Christian Sackone or the Sackman from um, the Groomsman channel. The Swedish made Matador Precision. And this thing, I, I dig this razor. I really, really did. Not, don't quite love it yet, but I dig it. Um, but if it keeps delivering shaves like the one it gave me tonight, Love is definitely in the, in, in the cards. <laughs> the brush is the probably 26, maybe 28 millimeter Grizzly Bay brush. As you can see, there's the coin once again. Right side up, Grizzly Bay. Er. Um, Fanchurian, three band badge or not. I don't know if you can see all three bands, but if you look close enough, you can see them. See? Anyways, wonderful brush. Uh, a little bit of a lather hog at this stage. So, um, like I said, in the shave, I don't think EJ Ramos used it a lot. Um, but that's fine. I will. <laughs> I like that brush. I really, really like that brush. Um, I got some few other Badger Knots. Um, the Rooney is pretty high quality. The Rooney Vest Badger, pretty high quality. Um, but other than that, I just got Finest Badgers, which the Heritage Shaving is a pretty good one. And I got one three-band um, gel tip badger from, from West Coast Shaving in a Heritage Shaving uh, handle. <clears throat> so, AA Shaving, Quizco, uh, link um, Grizzly Bay down in the description, and I'll link AA Shaving. Or I'll link the Razor Club, and if this soap's available, I'll link. I'll put a direct link to this soap. But I'll at the least, very least, link um, the Razor Club or Razor Company. Excuse me. <coughs> Absolutely wonderful shaves. Um, the blade was a Gillette Silver Blue on its first use. I actually picked up those blades at Razors Direct. I'll see if they still have them in stock. I paid 20 bucks for 100. Might be too many or too much. I got that, got them several years back. Um, maybe it is too much, maybe not, I don't know. But, you know, I'll see if they got them. If they do, I'll link them. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the post shave routine. Key Dickinson's Witch Hazel, which I'm gonna need to pick up another bottle of it soon probably in the next month or two probably sooner because i plan on getting here and doing more shaves more frequently um because i've missed shaving and the razor for the dome was the leaf triple blade pivot head um and i ran astra sp blades in it on their whatever use. Now let's pick out a bum 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 bum. Bum ba bum bum bum. I use this in a while. Takata. Aftershave bum. Which my girlfriend, ooh, wow, that's too much. Which my girlfriend ended up picking me up a, a set. Just shake some off. Pardon me, I'm going to rinse off my hands all the way out the sound of the water. But the staccata shave stuff, um, not bad. The scent's not bad. One moment. Want to rinse off my hands real quick. But 
the dry down on this Takata, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't mind it. The scent, it was really kind of, I don't know, a little fruity, I guess you would say, when I first got it. It smelled out a little bit. And the aftershave, where did you go? If I could find the damn stuff. Aha, there it is. Cool. AA Shaving Kisco. And for male, hashtag the shake of Melly Mel. Also from BBS Live on Inz over there on Instagram with Nate Dog. Nate Barmester also known as Nate Dog. That's a good enough of a hashtag. Or good enough of a shake. It's got a pretty good restrictor on here. Me. When it comes to using aftershaves, I'm a little bit of a no hope. <laughs> so. I like to kind of stink a little bit. <laughs> or like a little bit of a mouthful. <laughs> um, no offense to anybody that does that for a living. Ah, it's got a beautiful, beautiful scent on this, this Quisco. Or Kisco, or whatever the hell it's called. A beautiful scent. Uh, a little more. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. Um... This AA shaving, I do believe it's a um, witch hazel base. White. On my shirt. I believe it is a witch hazel based aftershave because no burn. Which is fine, I like that little bit of that burn, but when it smells that good, you tend to forget the burn and you focus on that, just that beautiful, wonderful scent. Ah. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyways, guys, that is the shave. Thank you all for joining me. Likes, comments, and subscriptions are always appreciated. Um, welcome to the new guys, Yuri I, and um, Christian, or Sackman. Welcome so much to the channel once again, guys. Um, Y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.